U.S. producer prices rose more than expected in January. According to new economic data out this morning, the producer price index jumped by a third of a percent, fueling concerns that the stubbornly high inflation rate may not be going away anytime soon. Mm. Here to break down all of this for us is Lori Bettinger. She is a president of Bank Alliance and a former director at the Troubled Asset Relief Program. Uh, thanks so much for being with us. I want to start with asking you what all this new data and new numbers really says about inflation here in the U.S. Good morning. I think what today's release told us is that we can't stop worrying or talking about inflation quite yet. As much as we might all hope that this is a topic that's going away, you know, we saw a little bit earlier this week the CPI that, that focuses on the prices consumers pay. That surprised people because it was a little higher than many economists expected. And then this morning we saw the producer price index, which is really the wholesale index. So it's what, you know, you can think of it as what people are paying for things before they get to the consumer. It also, as you mentioned, was a little higher than people expected. Now, with all of these reports, you have to break it down to see what's going on and, you know, what what could be more seasonal or volatile or move quickly and what implies, hey, this really is a worrisome sign for inflation. And this had different mixed signals in there. But as we've talked about time and time again, really the increase in prices was driven by services as opposed to goods. So I think that this is going to continue to mean that we got to stay focused on inflation and hope that it continues this slow, you know, this slowing down, but it's not going away. So new CBS polling shows 37 percent of Americans say the U.S. economy is good. Uh, why do you think that less than half the country feels this way uh, despite positive uh, unemployment numbers, uh, positive indicators of how strong the economy is. Inflation is still out there. So perhaps, I'm sure it is part of your answer, which is that at the gas station or perhaps at the supermarket, it doesn't feel that way. That's exactly it. And, you know, consumer sentiment has actually been on the rise, you know, over the past few months, albeit from a fairly low level. I think we have another release coming out in about 10 or 15 minutes, you know, that'll help us gauge where we are. That's done monthly. But I think you hit the nail on the head there, which is you can talk all about you want about inflation. And the one thing that policymakers tend to strip out is gas and food because they move around so much, as we've discussed before. But at the same time, that is what we see every day, right? We're in the grocery store, we're at restaurants, we're filling our car with gas, or we're just driving down the street and passing the gas station and seeing those prices move around a lot. So, and let's say, for example, um, the prices of larger ticket items are also moving, like a laundry machine. Well, if you have to buy one today, the chances are you haven't bought one in years, and you don't necessarily remember what you paid last time. Mm. So maybe you paid six hundred dollars, you know, like seven years ago, and now it's, you know, now it's seven hundred or seven hundred fifty dollars. That's actually a much bigger increase and hit to your budget, but you don't sort of see and feel that the way as you're like, wait a minute, I bought this cereal last month, and now it's more expensive. So I think that so much how you as a family or a household or a person, you know, sort of experiences purchases on a day to day basis, that really drives how you can feel about the economy, because so many parts of it are still really strong, right? The labor market, you know, um, retail sales, while down a little bit, still strong. There's good signs in there. But inflation is really hard on, I think, all of our households. That makes a lot of sense. Lori Bettinger, thanks so much for your time and breaking this down for us. Thanks.